This is a Helicrafters SX28 and I've just been um, completing the IF alignment and I thought I'd check it uh, using a sweep uh, generator. So I'm using this uh, Eagle Packard 8601A and it's matching uh, 8600A digital marker generator. So it's uh, sweeping around uh, 455 kilohertz at the moment and it's set to the broadest uh, non-crystal um, IF response. So there we've got the uh, classic double hump response. It's pretty uh, pretty even on both sides, which is good. Uh, switch it to the um, medium IF. It takes a little while for the uh, scope to settle. And you see a bit sort of a, a tighter response. The humps have gone and it's got steeper skirts. Switch to the uh, sharp IF. This is the sharpest non-crystal response. So you see you've got a nice sharp um, peak there, very steep skirts. I'm going to switch to the crystal. This is the wide crystal position. You can hear the uh, difference in tone on the speaker there. And it's difficult to see on the scope because it's um, very faint, but you've got a very sharp peak here now. Um, and if I adjust the crystal phasing control, it steepens this, the peak that one way and you take it the other way. I actually start to get a little bit of a, a dip on the leading edge there. You can see the little notch appearing. appearing on there. So that's very useful to uh, tune out a heterodyne on a, on a signal that you're trying to receive. Um, switch up to the medium crystal. So it's even sharper. It's a, the trace has gone off the screen now. I have to uh, reduce the vertical amplification there. Anyway, the trace off the screen is so sharp and uh, such a pronounced peak. I put onto the uh, the sharpest crystal position, and it's uh, even steeper. And uh, still adjust the notch. We haven't got quite as much adjustment uh, capability there because the uh, the crystal's very very uh, sharp at that point. And then back to the uh, the broadest regular IF. So that's a quick demonstration of um, how to uh, to check the uh, diff six different selectivity positions on a an SX28. And all I'm doing is feeding a sweep signal uh, into the um, IF stages of the um, the mixer, and uh, the sweep output of the scope of the um, of the Marker generator is going to the uh, X input of the scope, which is channel one, and channel two of the scope is coupled to the uh, detector of the receiver. So it's a pretty simple setup. Uh, it takes a little bit of fiddling with the scope controls to get exactly what you want, but once you've got that, it's, it's pretty straightforward.